Hey YouTube, it's Elvis Ammo here. Hey, uh, today I wanted to talk about uh, chambering your 300 blackout. Uh, chambering a uh, cartridge in your 300 blackout. Now, uh, there's some of you don't even don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, you know, you're you're saying, uh, well, I don't have any problem at all chambering my 300 blackout. Well, that's that's fine. It's probably it may be just because um, you are not reloading your 300 blackout um, more than likely. Um, but if you're reloading black uh, 300 blackout, then uh, um, I've found that there's there's a there's some problems. You know, uh, uh, different brass gives you uh, different diameters when you're sizing your your cases, and um, and different dies will give you different diameters as well. Um, well, uh, you know, so what I've done was uh, I took, uh, well, first of all, I made up a bunch of, I made up some, some brass, uh, you know, these are, these are cases that I made up, uh, put primers in and everything, they were ready to go, um, and I made some, some different rounds with it. And um, and what I've discovered was zero this thing up. Uh, what I've discovered was, um, and I've I've heard mention of this um, in different forums and different places that uh, that um, that the uh, the RCBS die. Uh, this is this is called a uh, a small base die, all right, and it's made by RCBS, all right, and um, it's the 300 AAC blackout small base die set, okay, and uh, and um, I, I've had a I had a a subscriber you know mention this die as well. And I've seen a little bit of buzz about it, um, but it's kind of sparse information, to be honest with you. And uh, I'm not sure how many people know about it, but, um, you know, I was sizing mine just like you've seen me size my brass, you know, with the Lee uh, sizing die, all right? Um, well, this is the brass that the Lee sizing die gave me. Uh, I'm going to measure these. Alright, and uh, what I've got is 0.337, you know, I'll spin that around, you know, it's 336.5, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 337.337, um, now this is, is with the, uh, the Wolf Brass, okay, now some of you may know that there has been published in different forums, um, information about brass that works and brass that don't work. Um, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of different uh, forums might indicate that that some of your brass that's imported uh, may not uh, be a good uh, a good uh, a good pick, and and most of your uh, your uh, brass, you know, your your federal brass and that kind of thing. You know that's made here in this country works and the imported don't well anyway um, I've seen so much of that kind of information and some of it didn't really seem to jive one thing kind of conflicted the other so I thought I would uh, just kind of get into this and find out you know what is it that's going on because I myself am having problems you know chambering uh, different rounds and uh, and it can get kind of scary, you know, when you drop your bolt and the bolt don't lock closed. Um, we all know that the bolt has to lock closed. Um, you do not want to fire. Uh, some people think that if the bolt don't lock, you know, the uh, the the gun, uh, the rifle won't fire. Um, uh, and I believe that to be untrue. By the way, uh, the bolt, um, if the bolt don't lock. Um, once it goes in the battery, you can pull the trigger and the firing pin could possibly hit the round. So, anyway, um, so you see uh, I have brass here. Everything, uh, everything 
in, the indicators to me have pointed to uh, these. These are all uh, 0 0.338, 337. This there's no way this does not chamber, and you don't even want to make it chamber. Uh, this is 337, 33. Okay, here's a uh, 3, 0.335. Now this is wolf brass. Now this may very well be the one on the list that they say not to use. All right. Um, but what I have found is that the information is so conflicting. Um, first of all, I'll, I'll, I'll have to figure out what I need to do with this. I have primers in here and this, it, it don't chamber. So anyway, uh, so, so what I have found is that, uh, um, you know, I made up some brass here. All right. Now this brass I call my prep brass and I, I labeled it number one all right well most of these cases are federal all right and um, uh, the number the magic number now everybody has a different size chamber in their rifle um, the magic number for me is 0.333 if it's 0.333 and under 0.333 and under. Now your rifle may very well be different. So for me, if it's 3.33, uh, 0.333.5, it's no go. 0.333 to me is the maximum that I'm comfortable with chambering in my rifle. All right. So now, um, now, now those that I showed you were sized with the Lee die. All right with the Lee sizing die. Now th these right here were chambered with the RCBS uh, small base. Uh, now they call this the AR series. Okay so they're specifically designed for the AR chambering. Um, so that's uh, that's got to be something there. Um, obviously it's completely different. So here's a, here's a round. Um, now uh, uh, I wish I would have uh, made up a round of wolf to show you a comparison right there, but it's not necessary. Um, so now here we have 0 0.328. I'm going to spin this 0 0.328.5. 0 I'm just going to randomly pick some here. 0 0.329. 328. All right. Now these are really mil spec as far as I'm concerned. 329, 328. Alright, so now what I'm going to show you is these are cases, this is factory ammunition. Uh, one of these is um, uh, one of these is uh, ADI. Uh, I think I got that at Cabela's. I told you I wasn't going to buy any of this stuff because it's too expensive, but in order to uh, in order to show you guys everything that I need to show you, it, obviously I'm going to have to buy factory ammo to compare things to. Um, not to mention I like to have some factory ammo on hand. Um, so this is the uh, the ADI, and um, so we know that Lee the Lee sizing die was way too large way too large you cannot chamber that I don't know I don't I, I couldn't imagine there's a, any uh, any rifle it would be a good idea now I'm not sure you know uh, we're, we're gonna find out soon enough here you know if you can resize 300 AAC blackout brass maybe that's the difference so right here here's a factory round with a bullet in it and it's point three three one all right, and uh, and here is uh, here is another one. Now this is the uh, the American Eagle. All right, that's uh, 150 grain. This is uh, hundred forty four grain. The other one, last one was American Eagle. Point three two nine three two eight. 327 alright so there we go and then we have uh, some 220 grain Remington 
Alright. I'm just showing you a comparison between factory ammo and uh, and the stuff we can make. 0 0.329. 330. And it's kind of hard to hold this up. To show you guys. But it's all pretty much the same. Alright. Pretty much the same here. Um, as as the uh, RCBS had done for us and I and I haven't seen much change at all once you put a bullet in that brass okay um, now so what I've done was in order the reason now what I've done here is I went ahead and well I don't know where I got these at but I'll figure that out in a minute um, what I done was I went ahead and picked uh, uh, I picked a, a variety of different kinds of brass here. All right, I have um, I have some Perfecta, and I was just going to show you guys. Now, now I haven't done this this part, and I've done a few different types of brass, but I figured I would save some of this brass just to show you guys um, what the difference is between the Lee die. Um, and now there's other dies out there um, so um, if you guys have a, uh, a set of dies that you're using to resize your brass or to or to reload uh, 300 blackout brass um, by all means let me know um, as a matter of fact um, you know and if there's a list of brass that you have that's different information from what I'm giving you please let me know and I can continually update that kind of information for you guys. Um, so I have, uh, there was a Perfecta, and here is, uh, some of these are hard to see. Okay, this one is, uh, this one says 556 five, on it. Alright, that's the, uh, CBC. Alright, so then we have, uh, okay, this was, uh, this PPU, now the, I, I remember this one was on the list of things you can't use, alright, well I'm not sure if I buy that, um, depending on how you size it, and that's the reason I'm telling you guys this, you, uh, we may find out here today that, that you can resolve all of your issues if you just use the right die and then you don't have to worry about all these lists and conflicting information I'm hoping that's what we're going to find out here today alright and then we have um, and I don't know that for sure I, I suspect that that's a possibility though uh, this one is uh, PSD these are different types of brass that I picked out and this is uh, I'm having a hard time seeing these even with a Okay, that's a Lake City brass. This is a Federal. Now this one here is a is a Lake City stamp and it has the military crimp on it. The nasty military crimp. Maybe I shouldn't even include that one. <laughs> Alright, so uh, and then we have uh, another Federal and another Perfecta. Did I put that in the same pot? Okay, that's the Perfecta. And then we have, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, uh, here's, a, here's another, another Lake City. Um, so I'm going to do a comparison between the, the two dies. Here's another Lake City. And uh, this one, okay, that's a, a federal case. A federal case. <laughs> Alright, so let's just, uh, let's just compare, let's just compare and see which one. So we'll start out with uh, the lead eye. I'm trying not to make this uh, go too long, but man, this is, uh, this information that I found here is, uh, is actually pretty decent. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just lube up these cases real quick. Now if you're lubing this stuff, um, I use, this is just kind of like your homebrew stuff, you know, landolin, alcohol base. Alright, now when you, uh, when you lube these cases, you're really better off to use a liquid type of, uh, 
of lube like I have here because um, if you're using you know paste and creams and different things uh, it can create air pockets on you and uh, affect the way the brass is sized um, with, with you know because this is quite a bit of sizing going on here not a lot but you know it's quite a bit so what we'll do is we'll just dump these in here and we'll find out we're going to put the we got the lee the lee sizing die in here and here we go and we're going to measure these against the uh, the RCBS now when you size these I like to hold this press down for a minute okay give it give it a chance I'm going to do uh, Now I just cut these because I wanted a variety of different brass to cut. So I'm just going to do uh, three of those. And now I'm going to put the RCBS in short base or small base they call it and I'm gonna do a few of those now it also seems a little smoother this one does all right so we just did those I'm gonna set these aside over here Get there in there. I like to hold it for a second give it a chance to mold to to the uh, to the die real good Hold it down there for a second. All right. So now I'm gonna measure these. Now this was uh, I just kind of randomly chose here. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what three I have here. I have a uh, is my eyes getting that bad? A federal, a Lake City. A federal and and two lake cities. Let me see what else I got right here. I'm gonna do a. I really want to get a PPU in there because that's something that people shoot up a whole lot. Okay, and this was a five five six. I'm gonna throw that in there. Specifically five five six. Here's a PPU, I believe. Oh, that's the PSD. I don't know. Anywho, I put a. That'll work. Alright, so here's the uh, 0 0.328. It's just a variety of brass, all right? 0 0.327, 0 0.328, and 0.329, all right? Here's the lead. 0 0.334, 0 0.334, 0 0.338, oh, oh. Yeah, I mean this th that's just that that's a no go, okay? You cannot use this brass. That, that's uh now uh, that was almost 340. Now that was a PPU. This is the one people uh this was the one I, I remember for sure being on one of these lists that's floating around. You can't use. So now let's take this one that's almost uh almost uh it's 0.338 and put it in the RCBS. Yeah, boy, that did a lot of sizing on that thing. All right. Point three three two. Three three two. Remember, I said three 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 is the culprit. Is is the uh, number that's a go? 
and this one says 333 so it's possible that you could use that one and I've found that this is 335 334 335 and and let's put so let's put this one back through the RCBS Three two nine point three two nine. So what this evidence is pointing at three three three. The evidence is pointing at um, now these are perfect. This is a perfecta right here. Three three three. Evidence points to it's possible you could use this one like it is out of the lead die. But if you're using an RCBS small base die set that's made for an AR 0.328 all right so now well we just changed everything now I haven't seen a difference in in my doings here I haven't seen a difference on you know once you put a bullet in it does it expand I, I've not seen that um, you know uh, you know any more than any other bullet would expand your brass when you seek your bullet so um, what it's looking like here and uh, and I've not done the test with all of these different types of rounds here and that's why uh, um, so I'll go ahead I'll go ahead and just shove these through we know that the uh, in my opinion the Lee die uh, is not I'm just gonna throw these right through here okay all these different types of brass and we're just going to measure them all I probably won't even have to tell you what kind they are because they're going to be acceptable and if they're acceptable we don't really care what kind of brass it is because it's not a question is it so here we got the RCBS die and Boy, I mean, I, I really have run a, a ton of different stuff through this die, um, and everything has come out good. Three two seven, I mean, that's that's golden. Three two eight, three two nine. Now one of these was the Lake City with the military crimp in it. Point three two five. Wow, that must have been the. <laughs> Yeah, that went way down. 0.327. All right. So, um, really, I, I'll tell you, um, I've learned something right here on YouTube with you guys just now. That, um, and this is what I suspected. I suspected that all of your problems will be solved if you use the RCBS small base die. All right. Now. This this die set, you know, uh, I can't remember if it was forty bucks or whatever it was. You know, it comes with a a bullet seating die and a uh, a, a sizing die and decrimper. And see what this says: AR series reloading dies. All right. So guys, this is uh, this is very important information. Um, you know, I, I actually thought I was going to have to give you more information than what I did uh, uh, because uh, one of the things that I was doing at first to kind of get an indication of what the full-size brass was, uh, was going to um, come out to be was I was measuring the thicknesses of the necks on these things and, and when, it, when it gave me 10, 11, 12 was the max. Um, See, that's uh, ten thousandths of an inch thick on the neck. So I was trying to get an indication from each piece of brass or each style of brass, you know, if it was going to come out like I wanted it to in the end. But I got a feeling that with this RCBS, none of this matters as much. Um, now the thicknesses, this is something that people talk about on different forums, you know, the thickness of the neck. They'll give you the, they'll say that if it's over 11 thousandths of an inch, then it's, it, it cannot be used or shouldn't be used. 
Now, from what I am finding um, in, in my testing here, um, and all the testing that I've done, I got a feeling that this RCBS is resolving all of those issues. Because whenever you size it, it's also sizing the inside and the outside of the neck, which is, um, you know, uh, stretching it out. So just to give you, uh, I'm going to take some of this stuff that I just sized, ten thousandths of an inch, um, and I could probably turn them around. These, ain't, these hadn't even been trimmed yet. All right, ten thousandths of an inch, uh, 11.5. And some of you, you guys want to know this because this is the kind of information that you're getting in different, in different places. Ten thousandths of an inch. Now, some people would have indicated, you know, that you can't use, you know, different ones. And like I said, remember the PPU was one of the ones on the menu to not be used at all. Um, I was going to see if I could find that one. see if I could find that PPU because that was one of the ones that I remember so I'm just this is just a hodgepodge of infra, uh, a hodgepodge of brass here and uh, you know I, I literally just cut it off and uh, and just set it all out here to see um, you know of course I had my suspicions based on uh, all the information I've already gathered but It'll be the it'll be the last one, or I won't even find it. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> now here's PPU. This was the one in question. Okay. Now it is. It does seem to be a little thicker. Okay, I'm I'm coming up with twelve. It, it does seem to be a little. There's a thirteen point five. It does seem thicker. So. All right, so I mean, there there must be something to it. Oh. There must be something to it. To me, that and the reason I keep going around, I haven't trimmed this brass, so it still has burrs on it. Um, uh, to me, that seemed to have been the magic number for the thickness of the brass, and. Um, and like I said, I don't think it's as important if you're using an RCBS AR Series 300 blackout sizing die. And uh, what I have here is .331. So it, it is coming out thicker. All right. So let's just run it back through a second time. All right. Um, matter of fact, I can't remember if I'd even run this one through this, this die or not. It felt like it was doing some sizing there. Okay, yep. Yeah, so we have point three three two. Three three one and a half. Alright. So uh and so this this one does seem to have this one is a little different, so there there was something to the information that is being handed around. But um I got a feeling that this is going to load just fine as well in the RCBS small base so Lee Precision you guys if you're watching um, uh, I, I would have been real happy with your 300 black AAC blackout sizing die um, but since um, since this thing is is not sizing to the specs that I'm able to chamber in my rifle, I'm not even going to be able to use this. Um, now, okay, guys, another thing that I did was uh, I brought out. Now, here's some uh, two of these cases. Uh, well, all four of these cases are originally from shooting a 300 blackout from factory ammo. So I was going to. Uh, so let's see. Let's see if there's any difference. Um, because I want to give I want to give Lee its due. Let's see if there's any difference of reloading uh, of resizing 
regular 300 AAC blackout and not just making our own brass, forming our own brass. So here's the 300 AAC blackout sizing die from Lee. And we're going to put a factory ammo in it. I'm just going to shove two of them through here. And we'll see what they give us. There's one. And there's two. All right. So let's see what let's see what it gives us. Cuz okay. Now here we go. Now that was acceptable. Now that was acceptable. 0 0.328, 327. All right. So now we got something and I, boy that one went all the way to 324. Ah. Okay. So now we got something. And that's what I wanted to see because I didn't want to just I didn't want to dog out Lee Precision without, without, without running through here what they thought, um, what they were thinking of when they built it. All right, when they engineered and designed this thing, they designed it to reform AAC blackout brass, not to form it from scratch. So, um, and then the thickness of the wall is 08. So I mean they're they're uh, 09. That one was a different brand, 10, 10 thousandths, 10 thousandths. All right. So now let's see what RCBS does with the factory brass. So we'll put the uh, RCBS back in there, and and we'll do put the other two through there. Um, I got a feeling it's just going to be the same, right? But, you know, let's find out what the difference is. So here we go. We'll just run this one through. Here's that one. There's that one. Three, two, six. Three two five. Whatever this one is is all right. That looks like the Remington. All right. So, uh, so resizing resizing your uh, factory brass is don't seem to be a problem, does it? Um, if you're using Lee Precision then it's going to size it just fine as far as I'm concerned uh, according to what we just seen right here and uh, but if you want to resize any of it and all of it um, I suspect that uh, now now it's something you'll want to keep an eye on make sure that you're within within specs of your chamber you know what I did was I chambered a bunch of different rounds, and uh, 333 was the max uh, to me. It seemed like it chambered no problem, but above that uh, you had to force it, and I don't want to do that. 